In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use the extend tool. So the extend tool allows you to extend two vector lines to their common point of intersection. So let's have a look at where it is found. So if you come up to edit objects, you can find the extend tool under the edit objects part of the design tab. And you can see there's a small description here of what to do. So it says click on two contours to extend them to a common point of intersection along the tangent vectors. So let's have a look at doing that. Now you can see, see here my cursor has changed to indicate that we're in the extension mode. Now, with the tool active, moving my mouse pointer over the ends of open vector shapes without clicking will highlight a dash preview. You can see that dash preview line coming off of that vector. So that's the extension line. And the line will dynamically change as you move the mouse over end spans of different open shapes. So when I click my left mouse button down, it holds that line in place. And then you can see when I hover my mouse over the point, the other point to extend from, the other part of the open vector is found the intersection. I can click and it is extending my vectors. So you can see how that's quite a powerful tool. Again, you've got scenarios like this where I had the T traced. I actually used a sign uh, to trace in this case. And while the trace is very good, the actual original sign um, had text that was a little bit awkward to trace around because it wasn't quite straight. So in the case of my T, I manually node edited here to get rid of the section that was sloping, but I knew I could use the extend tool to then make it straight again. So again, hover our mouse over the section we want to extend from, find the other section that we want to extend from the other part of the open vector, we can click and it's extend those vectors and it's cleaned up my T and extended those vectors for me. Again, we have an example over here with the border of my sign where it traced really well, but again, my image that I originally brought in uh, didn't have the straightest borders, so I had to manually uh, amend them. So again, I node edited out that corner and I knew the extend tool would be able to fix it for me. So if I click, you can see my preview line, come down, find my end of the open vector, click again, and my vectors have been extended. And that covers how to use the extend tool.